Pulsating beats, shows like a spectacle, a legendary lineup of songs and remixes. For decades, Steve Aoki has been the quintessential DJ. His sets provide a one-of-a-kind experience for fans. The famed artist's love for music came from his childhood, and his passion for impressing the people who listened has never slowed down. Our Phil Lipoff sat down with a music icon for tonight's Prime Playlist, a playlist that has a sweet ending. Inside Terminal 5 in New York City. You can feel the bass beating in your chest. Are you ready? One, two, three. The fans packed in, shoulder to shoulder, eyes focused on... One, two, three, let's go! Steve Aoki, center stage, working the crowd. Back to the right, right. Moving at a fever pitch, his energy non-stop and infectious. We joined Steve backstage for a few quiet moments before his set. I prefer having low heart rate and as zen as possible before I hit the stage. A Steve Aoki show is more like an experience. It's an exciting mix of electronic dance music, stunning visual effects, explosive smoke machines, flying confetti, champagne popping, and of course, those infamous cakes. Raise your hands if you're ready for some cake! And this is just one night. Aoki relentlessly tours, some years, hundreds of shows. In 2014, he set a Guinness World Record for most traveled musician, 161 shows in 41 countries. I hate the complacent life. I don't want that. I want to always like, be disciplined and find that edge to, to, to you know, do more. Steve pumping out so many mega hits, like Mic Drop, Wasted On Me, and Pursuit of Happiness, streamed more than half a billion times. He's been doing this for almost three decades. Seven studio albums, two Grammy nominations, and collaborations with everyone from K-pop sensation BTS, Linkin Park and the Backstreet Boys, to Lil Uzi Vert and Kid Cudi. Put your hands up! One, two, three, let's go! The 45-year-old is now considered a legend in the world of EDM. Still, when he was a teen, the son of Japanese immigrants, he didn't feel like he belonged and struggled to make friends in high school, eventually finding rhythm through music. How old were you at this time? When I first found it, like 14. 14? Yeah. That's gave, when you first gave, discovered music? When I first discovered music or where you community. Belong. Music community. Like, of course, I was like, you know, I loved music throughout, like, you know, before then. Right. But I didn't know a community of where like, this is everything that I'm gonna become. Every decision I make, right? And there was no looking back, even when he went to college. The hardcore punk scene was in full swing when Steve got to the University of California, Santa Barbara. His apartment known as the Pickle Patch. Bands playing live in his living room. From the music to the clothes, punk was popular. Steve heavy into a subset of the genre called straight edge hardcore. Some of the ideologies of, of hardcore is one, PMA, positive mental attitude. It's just really, it's a really good thing for a kid to like really uh, align themselves with. Absolutely. So. At 19, he formed a band with three of his college buddies he met in ceramics class, forming his record label Dimmock before moving back to Los Angeles, all while trying to live up to his famous father's larger than life legacy. You have a place or mine, it's up to you. Rocky Aoki, founder of the popular Japanese restaurant chain Benihana. Rocky, known for his obsession with work, his love of speed, on the water and in the air. In 1981, he crewed the first balloon to successfully cross the Pacific Ocean. My father's 
like, you know, looming presence and what he's done with culture has definitely shaped me. Proving to his dad that he could make it in music became a driving force. So he bought some equipment and the rest is music history. Quickly gaining a reputation for his high intensity performances and connection with the crowd. Major festivals. A residency in Ibiza, the EDM capital of the world. Adding crowd surfing, a throwback from his hardcore days. And of course his trademark move, caking. So popular now, fans come to shows hoping to be caked, wearing shirts and holding signs. He brings at least a dozen to every show. And he is impressively accurate, throwing from about 30 feet out. The cake space is styrofoam, and it's mostly made of very sticky, soft icing, because the goal is not to hurt, it's to have fun. What does it feel like when it hits? Right, like when it's a direct hit. Amazing, it's like, I mean, the best way to explain it is like if you're Tom Brady and you score that Hail Mary, you throw that, that touchdown goal to the receiver and like the whole crowd goes crazy. The goat of cake throwing has taken criticism over the years from some in the EDM world, calling out his onstage antics. They said, we're not gonna book you. We, we don't like the cakes. We don't, we think it's cheesy. I think I stopped for like a year and, and you know what happened? After I stopped, fans got upset. They didn't book me. So that would be the last time he would bend the knee to anyone, doing what he does best, DJ, the art of mixing music live in front of amped up fans. This is why I don't drink while I, before I DJ. Because you need to have clarity of thought and be able to think like a chess player. A laser focus, strong will, hard hitting and fast paced bringing something new to his profession, a lot like his father before him. Me being directly and indirectly around him has shaped me for sure, no doubt about it, because this is a very traditional Japanese way of thinking to put work first. A work ethic he inherited, a legacy he is building on. One, two, three, let's go! I don't even feel like I'm 45 right now, because like when you're learning, when you're learning something new, and your, your eyes are wide open and you, you get the chills and you still feel something. It's like you're back when you're a teenager again. And since that boundless youthful energy is contagious. We live, baby, we live. How could I Let's not? Go. Ah. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna be running. Did it hurt? No. I told you. No. You gotta trust me. You're like a master. I know. Oh, I got, I got, like, stop my nose, Steve. Yeah. Thank you. you got it. Have yeah. a good night. Yeah, Great awesome. show. Oh my God! Did you just really do that? <laughs> did you just see what he did? <laughs> it ate it off my face. Love that. What a sport Phil is getting caked. We appreciate Phil bringing us that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.